Welcome to the Morph Neo channel, where regular and crypto games meet. If you love regular FPS games, blockchain-based NFT and play-to-earn games then subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to watch our videos, and stay up to date. If you are a fan of exciting new metaverse that combines an incredible, immersive virtual reality experience with the groundbreaking technology behind NFTs, then we have an awesome game for you. This video is a quick review about a game called Revamon, which will allow for the creation of real value in a virtual world by leveraging blockchain technology. What is Revamon? Revamon is an exciting new online role-playing metaverse RPG that combines an incredible, immersive virtual reality experience with the groundbreaking technology behind non-fungible tokens NFTs. This synergy will allow for the creation of real value in a virtual world by leveraging Highlight. The team has created a metaverse where players can socialize with each other while hunting for wild Revamon. Think Axie Infinity meets Pokemon Go but in a fully immersive virtual reality environment. The game itself combines VR experiences such as grabbing, throwing, shooting and free movement with the disruptive innovations that are only possible through blockchain technology, namely ownership such as NFTs, play to earn and community governance. If this sounds interesting then let us go further, but before that a short disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor, everything in this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Always do your own research and consult several sources before making any investment decisions. All the information about the game in this video can be found on the game's website, in the white paper and several other sources on the internet. The information we gathered from these sources is intended to be accurate at the time of recording of this video. Please note however that the blockchain-based gaming world is a very fast-spaced industry and is in a constant state of development and evolution. With our quick review series, we wish to give you a short summary of many blockchain games, highlighting some important features of the games, scoring and ranking them solely for orientation purposes and not for judgment. If you have already seen our previous quick review videos and know our scoring system, you can simply skip the next two minutes and continue with the video in the next chapter. At the end of the scoring process, an overall score will be created for each game we have reviewed. Our review and scoring system is very simple and answers the following questions. 1. Is the game already playable? If the answer is yes, then 1 point, otherwise 0. 2. Is the game free to play? If you can start to play the game without any investment, then the score is 1 point, otherwise 0. 3. What game modes are available? Is the game a PvP or a PvE game or both modes are available? If only one mode is available, it could be PvP or PvE then the score is 0 points otherwise it is 1 point. 4. Is the game a play-to-earn game? For the purpose of our scoring system the definition of a play-to-earn game is where you can directly and unconditionally earn coins, or tokens through gameplay that you can directly convert to stable coins or fiat money. If the answer is yes, then 1 point. If, however, players can earn coins upon some conditions or players can only use the in-game currency they receive as a reward to upgrade their assets, or buy NFTs, and cannot directly convert it to real money, then the score will be 0 points. 5. The fifth question will have two parts. One part is whether the game token is in the first 1000 ranked by market cap on Cohen market cap website. If yes then half a point, otherwise zero points. And finally, we can give half a point based on our subjective opinion of the game, where we take into consideration factors like, the game itself, network, team, activity, transparency etc. Overall, the maximum score a game can get is 5 points. Let the analysis begin. First question. Is Revamon already playable? According to the white paper since the release of the first Alpha 1.0 version on 30th of June, 2021, several improvements and additions have been made to the game. At the end of November this year, Beta 2.4 was released. This new game version is mainly focused the Christmas event launch and overall game packages optimization. On the Revamon Gitbook, you can find a detailed step-by-step -step guide about how to create an account, about how to install the game for VR users, a list of compatible devices, of course the description about how to install the game for mobile users. Once you launch the game you will see a portal connection, where you can enter your account name and password, the same one you use to register in section 1 of this guide. 
This ultimate player guide helps you get started, details the steps you need to take to get started in the game, mentions the Medic Luisa, the Revo PC and the Popping 3 Revamon, which are the starters in the game. You have the choice between three types of Revamon, Fire, Forest and Water. Namely, it's Gaulit, Decute and Zarel. Gaulit the Fire type starter is going to have the highest offensive abilities but lack in defense. Decute the Forest type starter is going to be a mixed bag of both offensive and defensive abilities. So he's a pretty safe starter and Zarel is going to have the highest defensive capabilities but the lowest speed and attack power. Now there's going to be a 151 Revamon to catch battle and evolve. All in all, Revamon has its beta 2.4 release, the full official release of the game for all platforms is not ready yet, therefore, we give to this topic half a point. Score, half point. Is Revamon free to play? According to the game's white paper, says the game is free to play. You will never have to pay to play the game. Also, on Medium website it mentioned that the game is free, available for non-crypto and crypto-friendly users. Find on the same site the tutorial to download and create an account. Summarizing the above information, Revamon is a free-to-play game therefore we give this topic 1 point. Score, 1. What game modes are implemented in the game? PvP or PvE or both? There will be three factions in the game that see the Revamon in different ways. The scientists wish to study Revamons and understand their abilities while cataloging them. The secret society is created by the world's wealthiest and most powerful people, and they want to use Revamon as a tool for power and profit. The anarchists believe that the world was so much better when Renovon and humans were equal. They want to use Revamon to bring equality to the world once again. Players will be able to choose one of these factions and work with other faction mates to fulfill the faction's goals together. Revamon will offer different features which will revolve around the social aspect, storyline, and competition to enhance the gameplay of the game. Players will be able to do quests to level up their tamer. Clans will emerge into the game and will bring people together with shared interests. PvP tournaments will be added to the game to boost the competitive spirit, and achievements will be added to the game for players to see their progression throughout the game. All in all, Revamon has PvP and PvE game modes as well, so, we give this topic 1 point. Score, 1. Is the play-to-earn format implemented in the game? Can you directly earn coins or tokens by gameplay? Let's take a look at the tokenomics behind Revamon and how you are able to earn crypto and NFTs by playing. Revamon uses its own native RC20 token called Revo and Revo is going to be used for governance voting. So voting on major changes within the game, you're also going to be able to stake it and farm it in liquidity pools and it will be the marketplace payment for buying and selling you Revamon to other players. Now let's take a look at the flow of how someone's actually going to be able to earn by playing this game. The developers at Revamon laid out a nice chart for us, where we can see exactly how we're going to be able to earn with this game. So, you the player are going to get a VR headset any of these three either Stream VR, Oculus or Samsung VR and you're going to get the Revamon game from SideQuest, which is an open marketplace that specializes in VR games. Once you start playing, you're going to earn Revo tokens in the game by ranking on the leaderboard and Revamon NFTs themselves. You're then going to mint those NFTs on Polygon sidechain which creates an actual asset that you own. Once you own that asset, you're able to take it to another marketplace such as OpenSea and sell that for Ethereum. Once you have that Ethereum you can either convert it back to Revo or take that Ethereum straight onto a market like Coinbase or Kraken or Gate.io and profit from it and the cycle goes around like that. In order to mint your NFTs to the blockchain it is going to require Revo tokens. Also, important to mention that the developer of the game have finally implemented a structure in the game NFT burning. By minting what you catch in the game you can now destroy them and receive Revo tokens in their place. Previously our only way of generating income from Revamon was by selling our catches to other players now we can sell them back to the house, which is really exciting. A total of 11 million Revo, 11% of total supply, was reserved for this feature, and these will be slowly released over the next 5 to 7 years as we build the game community. First Revamon Sync is Burn to Earn, allowing you to burn NFTs for Revo. Here on Medium site, you can check the prices for the different NFTs. 
Based on our extensive research, we are not confident that with Revamon Game Revo tokens can be earned directly by gameplay. Therefore, according to our set of rules, zero points can be awarded for the topic whether tokens can be directly earned by gameplay. So, we can give zero points to this question. Score zero. Market cap and subjective opinion. The game's main token Revo price on the date of recording is 0.04198 US dollars, and ranked 1,354 on Cohen Market Cap website. So, the score for this is zero points. Our subjective score based on the game, network, team, investors, activity, transparency etc. is half a point. Summary of our analysis. 1. Is the game already playable? Revamon has only its beta release, the full official release of the game is not ready yet, therefore, we give to this topic half a point. Score, half a point. 2. Is the game free to play? You will never have to pay to play the game. Score, 1 point. 3. What game modes are available in Revamon? This game has PvE and PvP game modes as well. Score, 1 point. 4. Is the game a play-to-earn game? No, you cannot directly and unconditionally earn coins or tokens through gameplay that you can directly convert to fiat money. Score, 0 points. 5. Is it in the top 1000 by market cap? No, it isn't. Score, 0 points. Our subjective score, half a point. The final score is 3 points out of a maximum of 5 points for the game Revamon. We hope that our quick review and comparison method we have set up has helped you to get to grips with this game and that the analysis and overall score has helped you to make your decision to learn more about the game. What do you think about Revamon? Would you like to play with this game? Please share your thoughts about the game in the comment section below. Would you like to get a deeper analysis video about Revamon? If yes, please drop it in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give a thumb up, we would really appreciate it. In our next video we prepare a quick review about GAM 4 by Bluezell, so please make sure to subscribe to the Morph Neo channel not to miss it and hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching and see you next time in our next game review, gameplay, or tutorial video. Bye.